Isaac broke YouTube with four videos because the editing and graphics are crazy. This type of editing can only be unlocked one of two ways. You either spend an insane amount of time perfecting your craft, or you spend a ton of money on a top tier editor. So where does that leave us? What options do we have? Well, you could try to watch some tutorials and give it your best shot. And add the keyframe on position and size. Click on the first keyframe. Add the keyframe on blend and add another keyframe on jump. And click show keyframe. Keyframe on the second keyframe. And click the first keyframe and add the keyframe on blend. Holy that's a lot of keyframes. I can only imagine what would happen if I tried doing that. So instead here's three hacks to make our videos look like pro edits that don't involve 12 million keyframes. For today's example I'll use the phrase time is money. If you can figure out how to better manage your time, you'll be able to make more money in less time. See how that clip was complete No cohesion, no intrigue, but most importantly, no Isaac. Let's transform this clip so you can see how even as a complete beginner we can start making videos that are watchable. Let's start with one of those motion background grids. That's something simple that can instantly make it look like we actually know what we're doing. Thanks to me I found this grid background video that offers that mesmerizing scroll across your screen that everyone seems to be so fond of. I'll put the link in the description, it's completely free to use and we don't have to add any keyframes at all. Thank God. Now pay attention boys cause we can't just slap this video into CapCut and call it a day. Everyone that's watching is gonna know it's amateur or over here. If you wanna be like Isaac, you gotta go the extra mile like he does. First we need to slow this clip down cause it's moving a little too fast. Click on the speed tab and reduce it to 0.8. Check the box that says smooth slow mo then choose the option called optical flow which is going to take a eternity for CapCut to process, but in the end I promise it'll be worth it cause your grid is gonna be sliding like butter on a skillet. We're still not all the way there yet, so click on adjustments and turn the whites all the way down to negative 50. Then turn the vignette all the way up to 50. Last step is to choose an overall color theme for your video. I'll choose blue and use the temperature slider to make it all cohesive. Let's add in luminance and starry effects to make this clip look all ethereal. You know what I'm feeling real extra. Let's throw in some glow worm too. There we go. That looks perfect. Now that that's done, let's move on to our second hack, which is graphics. Remember how I just mentioned to pick a color for your overall theme? Here's why. If we use a bunch of random graphics with any and every color under the sun, our video is gonna look like shit. Plain and simple. So here's what I do that you can replicate easily with no graphic design skills. I like to make what I call a graphics pack. We can do this easily by using images like these. Once we download our graphics, we need to use Canva to adjust the colors so we can maintain the same theme throughout all of our graphics, which will also be the same color of our background grid. See what I mean by creating a cohesive video? On Canva, choose YouTube thumbnail. Change the color of the canvas to green and add all of your graphics onto that canvas. Now select each image and adjust the colors so they all match, just like I'm doing with my blue theme. Alright, let's hurry up guys. Okay, add your graphic pack into the timeline of CapCut. Select Remove Background Tab. Chroma Key. Click the green color. Come on guys, you already know this part, right? Now we can copy and paste this clip as many times as we have images. So since I have five images on my graphics pack, I'll copy and paste it five times. Crop each clip so we have a different image for each one. Now make sure you place them in the right right order according to your script, making sure you add an animation to each image. Well boys, we're really starting to get that Isaac look right. What? All jokes aside, I think we're really onto something here. Let's finish this clip off with the final simple hack, text and sound design. Luckily, CapCut makes it nice and easy. We can click on this nice little auto caption button and get our whole video captioned. But we can't just leave text throughout the entire video that gets super boring and our audience will start dropping off quick. Remove text and only leave it when necessary. That way you get a nice mix of words and visuals. Don't forget to animate your text, change the font, and color match to keep your video cohesive. Last but certainly not least, we need some music. Or sound effects or beatboxing. I don't know we need some to keep people awake. I'll start by adding some inspirational background music, then follow that up by adding in sound effects. You know all the classics like the whoosh, mouse clicks, cash registers. You get the point. Holy shit, are we done yet? Let's watch that back and see if our effort was really worth it. Play back final clip there you guys. Time is money. If you can figure out how to better manage your time, you'll be able to make more money in less time. Now that's a real win.
That's how you can greatly improve your faceless videos without doing anything technical like keyframes. I hope it helps.